Onto stage comes the man who will now be Taiwan's next president. In the end, William Lai won the election by a larger margin than expected. China's President Xi Jinping tried to intimidate voters here not to choose him, but failed. His supporters say, if anything, it had the opposite effect. China warned the people of Taiwan not to vote for this man. They said he is a troublemaker who will take the island closer to war. Well, tonight they have given their answer by electing him their new president. Speaking to the international media following his victory, President-elect Lai was quick to offer Beijing an olive branch. Over the last eight years, we have tried continuously to extend goodwill. Unfortunately, China has not responded to these gestures. We hope in the future, China will realize peace serves the interests of both sides. It's not just its democratic system that sets Taiwan apart from China. Five years ago, it became the first place in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. Today, for the first time, Siti Chen and Mota Lin got to vote together as a family with their three-year-old daughter. This election is very important. We've just come back from Hong Kong, and people there are envious of us. They told us we must protect our democracy or we could end up like them. For Taiwan's main opposition party, the KMT, today's result was another humiliating defeat. The whole party leadership bowed as they begged for forgiveness from their supporters. The KMT's candidate, Ho Yui, had run on a platform of getting closer to China. That policy may have contributed to his defeat. Instead, voters gave the party Xi Jinping loathes an historic third presidential win. Now everyone is waiting to see how China's leader will respond. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Taipei.